So, hello and namaste to all of you. This is Javian Chalo Singh from Department of Physiotherapy and Diagnosis uh, from Jyoti Vidya Peet Women's University. So, for today's section, I'll be talking about surface tension and examples of surface tension and its uh, basically uh, examples and the uh, formula behind the calculation of your surface tension. Now, um, According to the definition of surface tension, it is the phenomena that occurs when surface of a liquid is in contact with other phase. Uh, it can be uh, like other liquid as well. And liquids, they tend to acquire least surface area as possible. So the surface of liquid behaves as an elastic sheet. Now, surface tension is the tension of surface film of a liquid and caused uh, by the attraction of particles in the surface layer by the bulk of liquid, which tends to minimize the surface area. Now, surface tension not only depends on the force of attraction between the particles within the given liquid, but also the, on the force of attraction of solid, liquid, or gas in contact with it. So the an energy responsible for the phenomenon of surface tension, it may be thought of as approximately equivalent to the work or energy required to remove the surface layer of molecules in a unit area. But a surface tension is typically measured in dynes per centimeter. The force in dynes is required to break a film of length one centimeter and given below in table in the surface tension of various liquids. Now, surface tension uh, of various liquids is difficult. That is, for example, that of hydrogen is 2.4 Newton per meter. For helium, it's 0.16 Newton per meter. For water, it's 0.072 Newtons per meter. For ethanol, it's 22.0 Newtons per meter. For sodium chloride, it's 140 newtons per meter. Now, surface tension uh, lets us know that the surface, it may mainly depends on the forces of attraction between the particles within the given liquid and also upon the gas, solid or liquid on, in contact with it. Now, uh, the surface tension uh, basically... Uh, when an object is placed on a liquid, its weight is F, for example. So Fw, it depresses the surface. That is, it is the weight is applying the force on the surface of liquid. And the surface tension and the downward force, is, it becomes equal than in balance by the surface tension forces on either side, which is your Fs which are each parallel to the water's surface at the points where it contacts the object. So notice that small movement in body may cause the object to sink. And as the angle of contact decreases, surface tension decreases, and the horizontal components of the two uh, FS arrows point in opposite directions, so they can cancel each other, but the vertical components point in the same direction and therefore they add up to balance your FW. Now the object's surface, they must not be wettable for this to happen and its waist must, uh, weight must be low enough for the surface tension to support it. So if M donates the mass of the needle and G acceleration due to gravity, so we have Fw is equal to 2fs sine theta. Now, uh, for uh, the, uh, for example, let's talk about the example of surface tension. So, water striders, these are the small insects, they can walk on water as their weight is considerably less to penetrate the water surface. And like this, there are various examples of surface tension which are found in nature and some cases are provided below. So first of all, insect walking on water. Second, floating a needle on the surface of water. Third, rainproof tent materials 
where the surface tension of water will bridge the pores in the tent material and water will bridge the pores in the tent material so uh, next will be your clinical test for jaundice so uh, fourth one is your surface tension disinfectant so disinfectants are the solution of low surface tension next is your cleaning of clothes by soaps and detergents which lowers the surface tension of water and washing with cold water now round bubbles where the surface tension of water provides the wall tension for the formation of water bubbles and this phenomena is also responsible for the shape of liquid droplets now how to calculate surface tension so there is an example of calculating surface tension by using formula so uh, let's the question is that the compute if the question is to uh, that a uh, compute the surface tension of a given liquid whose dragging force is 7 newton and length in which the force acts is 2 meter so uh, here uh, as the question says that force is 7 newton length is 2 meter so the formula for tension uh, in ge of general tension is force per unit length so force 7 upon 2 is 3.5 if you divide 7 uh, divide 7 by 2 it comes out to be 3.5 newtons per meter now uh, there are various uh, general methods of measurement of surface tension so a uh, few of them are uh, number one spinning drop method number two pend and drop method Number three, Dunois Pade method. Number four, Dunois uh, ring method. Number four, Wilhelmi plate method. Number five, pin pendant drop method. Next is your stalagmo uh, stalagmometric method. Next, capillary rise method, bubble pressure method, and next is resonant oscillations with a spherical and hemispherical liquid drops. Next is your vibrational frequency of levitated drops next is your sessile drop method so uh, these are uh, several uh, physical methods which are used to uh, measure the surface tension and uh, surface uh, tension is basically a uh, different for uh, a different uh, uh, for different methods so in uh, for example uh, because a surface tension manifests itself in in various effects so it offers a number of paths for its measure measurement so which method uh, optimal depends upon the nature of liquids being measured so the conditions under which its tension to be measured and the stability of its area when it is deformed so an instrument that measures its, its surface tension is not known as your tensi tensiometer now in a dunoy ring method which i told you that it is uh, basically the traditional method used to measure surface or interfacial tension wetting properties of the surface of interface they have the little influence on this measuring technique and maximum pull exerted on the ring or by the surface is measured and in well me uh, plate method uh, it uh, it is basically the universal method specially suited to check the surface tension over long time intervals and a vertical plate of known parameter is attached to a balance and the force due to wetting is measured uh, next will be a spinning drop method so that technique is ideal for measuring low interfacial tensions and the diameter of a drop within a heavy phase is measured while both are rotated next is your pendant drop method so uh, in that surface and interfacial tension can be measured by the technique and even an elevated temperature and pressure and geometry of a drop is analyzed optically now for pendant drops the maximum diameter and the ratio between this parameter and the diameter at the distance of maximum diameter from the drop apex has been used to evaluate the size and shape parameters in order to determine the surface tension
In bubble pressure method, the measurement technique for the determining of surface tension at short surface edges and maximum pressure of each bubble is measured. In a drop volume method, a method for determining the interface tension as a function of interface age, a liquid of one density is pumped into a second liquid of a different density and time between drops produced is measured. In capillary rise method, the end of capillary is immersed into the solution. The height of which the solution reaches inside the capillary is related to surface tension by equation. Now, uh, in stalagmometric uh, method, the metal of, uh, method of weighing uh, and reading the drop, it is the method of weighing and reading the drop of a liquid. In sessile drop method, the method of determining tension and density by placing a drop on a substrate and measuring the contact angle. In Dunai Paddy method, a met is a minimized version of Dunai method, which uses a small diameter metal needle instead of a ring in combination with high sensitivity microbalance to record maximum pull. So the advantage of this method is that very small sample volumes down to few tens of microliters, they can be measured with high precision without the need to correct for buoyancy. Further, the measurement can be performed very quickly, minimally in about 20 seconds. Now, vibrational frequency of alleviated drops in this method, the natural frequency of vibrational oscillations of magnetically alleviated drops has been used to measure the surface tension or superfluid. So uh, this, uh, the, uh, this value is estimated to be 0 0.375 dynes per centimeter at temperature zero Kelvin. Now, in, lastly, in resonant oscillations of spherical hem and hemispherical liquid drop, the technique is based on measuring the resonant frequency of spherical and hemispherical pendant droplets given in oscillations by a modulated electric field and the surface tension and viscosity, they can be evaluated from the obtained resonant curves. Now, these were the various different methods which are used uh, to calculate surface tension and to measure surface tension. So, in next class, we we'll read further about it. And uh, until then, if you have any doubts related to surface tension or any of the techniques, you can contact me. And until then, take care and goodbye.